Hi everyone and welcome. In this video we will see how you can configure the MQTT client device in the Fuxa WebSCADA and after configuring how you can connect our Fuxa WebSCADA with Mosquito MQTT broker. The same way you can connect your Fuxa SCADA with any cloud MQTT broker as well and also you can connect your Fuxa SCADA with any other network MQTT broker as well. Okay, so the procedure will remain same. So let's see how you can do that. And here you can see my Mosquito broker is running on my local system. Okay, so we are going to use our local host IP address and the port number to connect with our Mosquito broker. So first of all, to configure the MQTT client device in the Fuxa SCADA, you have to navigate to the Fuxa SCADA web page. And then after you have to click on this edit project and here you have to go to the connection. Here you have to create a new connection for our new device and our device will be MQTT device and I'm going to select the type as MQTT client. The polling interval is 1.5 second. I'm going to enable this device and here you have to provide the IP address and port number of your MQTT broker. If you have cloud MQTT broker, then also you have to provide the IP address and port number of your cloud MQTT broker. And if your MQTT broker is running on your network in some other system, then you have to provide the IP address and port number of that system. Okay, so here I'm going to provide MQTT colon slash slash my local host IP address 127.0.0.1 and port number 1883. After that, if your broker required username and password to connect with it, then you have to provide the username and password. So in case of uh, you know, cloud MQTT broker, you have username and password to connect with cloud MQTT broker. So you have to provide username and password here. Here you can provide client ID like Fuxa Web SCADA mqtt client okay and we don't have any certificate so i'm going to leave this thing as it is but if your broker required the certificate private key and ca certificate then you have to provide it using this icon okay you have to select that certificate and then you have to provide it to connect with that broker now i'm going to leave this thing as it is because i don't have any security with my broker so i'm going to leave these things as it is and i'm going to press ok so fuxa scada will try to connect with local mosquito broker and once it is connected you will see the green light here so you can see it is connected successfully okay so fuxa scada has established the connection with our mosquito mqtt broker now we can create tag as per our requirement to read the data from that mosquito broker so now fuxa scada can publish and subscribe to any topic on the mqtt broker okay so that thing we are going to cover in the next video or in the future videos that how to create tag how to subscribe any tag how to publish the tag value to mqtt broker so stay tuned for the next video and till then take care goodbye and thank you